Hi, I'm Stephanie with Make It Take It, and today I'm going to show you uh, how the gel press, reusable gel printing plate works. This is one of my absolute favorite tools for jelly printing. Um, I can spend hours, literally hours, making prints, pulling prints. It's addictive, it's a game changer. It is so fun. You can use your uh, painted papers for your art journal. You can decoupage book covers on with it. You can incorporate it into your canvas or your paintings. It's awesome. Hands down, one of my favorite tools. So uh, this is the gel plate here. It's absolutely dirty and scummy and filthy, and that's how I like it, because all of that will transfer on. Um, some people clean theirs. Most people don't, I don't think, so I'm not too out of the norm there. Um, and all it is is like a rubbery, floppy, squishy plate. They say you can make your own, but I have heard that they've gone moldy before, and that's just gross. So um, they can get kind of pricey. They come in all different kinds of sizes and uh, even shapes. Um, but uh, I love it. I love it. We have lots of different sizes uh, available here at Make It Take It. Um, and uh, you will just have so much fun making a mess. So you'll need a brayer to roll your paint on. You'll need a stack of papers to kind of to keep on this side to do your cleanup with, or you could put an art journal here and you can clean up your uh, brayer there. It's good to have some, some stencils. This is an assortment of stencils, some stamps. I've got some texture plates here. I think these are actually meant to be used for uh, clay, but I use them on my jelly plate. And uh, I'll show you how it goes. So you'll just need an assortment of acrylic paints. I've got some random different colors here. We have tons of paint here at the studio, so you can pick all of your favorites. I've got some white and black left over here from the last project I was working on, so I'm just going to go ahead and smooth that on there so I don't waste it. And then you take your brayer. And the more you roll it, the more it will blend. And on the side here, I kind of clean off my brayer a little bit. That's why you want to have an art journal or a stack of paper. And then you can stamp into it. And again, I'll just print that off on my cleanup paper. And sometimes your cleanup papers end up pretty remarkable also. So it's kind of like a two in one there. Um, I think that, that my paint on here is pretty thick, so I don't know how great the first pull might be pretty blotchy. Oh, you can still see it a little bit. The stamp impression. It's, and they always have what you call a ghost print, which is your second pull. And nine out of 10 times, for some reason, that usually ends up to be my favorite one. You can get some really awesome effects with a jelly plate. You could take a leaf that you find outside and print with it. Yeah, see this is my favorite of the two. <laughs> And you can see where all the other colors that were stuck on there from it being dirty and put away without being cleaned transfer on there. And I think that's awesome. So again, it's just uh, acrylic paints. You can use the, the craft paints. You can use the kind of nicer quality paints like I'm using here really doesn't uh, matter. You kind of want to think about what colors you're using so that you are kind of playing with colors that uh, play well with each other. Unless you want to make mud, I would not put purple and green on the plate because that could be a brown that I don't want. And the more you brayer, the more it will mix. If I wanted to kind of keep that pattern, I could pull it there. If I wanted to blend it a lot, so it just changes to a whole green color on its own. I could do that. 
You can just kind of play with it and get all the different effects that you like. You could take the end of your paintbrush or anything, so long as it's not sharp. You don't want to make any permanent indents or scratches into your plate because then whatever mark that would make would show up on every single pull that you made with your paper for every print afterwards, which would kind of be a bummer. But you can kind of just take your, and this isn't the, probably the best tool, but and your paintbrush, just so long as it's not sharp. I'll just do a little doodly doo doodle here. If you spell a word, you have to do it backwards if you want it to print where you can read it. And you can pull prints on fabric, you can pull prints on uh, mixed media paper, cardstock, text paper, typing paper, um, book pages, music notes any of that kind of stuff and it's great for collaging it's great for just uh making making fun pages so this one if i let that kind of dry a little bit If I walked away for three minutes, five minutes, and came back, I don't know if it'll work since it's not going to be totally dry. It might smear a little bit, but when you put a little bit of paint, that's probably way too much. So I'm just going to roll some of that off. Get a thin layer, and if that was dry, then I should be able to pull that whole image up. With that yellow as kind of the background color, we'll see if it works here. If not, you can edit it out. Okay. Fancy. And then there's the ghost print, which is just always awesome. Somehow that second pull is always my favorite. What else can you do with a jelly plate? You could put your stencil down first. I have enough paint here that it won't. And then I could take my print that I already did earlier. That's the thing, you can reprint again and again and again and again. So I use that one. So if you don't like a pull that you get, you're not in love with it, you don't throw it away. You can always change it. You can always add to it 5, 10, 20 times if you want to. Okay, so this is dried on here because I actually did walk away this time and it's dry. So we'll you can do a technique where you put another layer of paint on top and see how much of that we can get to lift off on our print. I'm just trying to take some of that extra paint off of there. You don't need a lot of paint. So a lot of times that's my biggest mistake is I slap too much paint down on there and then It's just kind of blobby. <laughs> just put my paper down there and give it a nice rub. Who you are, that's cool. So, that's just some of the things you can do with the jelly plate. You can use stamps, you can use stencils, 